projects we're funding today always represent what Secretary Ash and the governor always talk about. It's not just about numbers, it's about people. And so the projects we're funding today allow the mother who signs you in at your doctor's office, or the man who prepared your meals at the restaurant this weekend, or the woman who's teaching your child to read in pre preschool class. All of those folks are eligible for affordable housing in Boston. And that's part of why we do this work to make sure that we can have the Commonwealth remain vibrant, diverse, and inclusive. In May, the governor established a new mass housing fund with $100 million to create workforce housing. Just after that, he announced that his five-year capital budget would devote $1.1 billion to affordable and workforce housing development and presentation. <laughs> that, my friends, was an 18% increase in the level of investment in housing. In a tough budget year, the governor again provided critical funds for housing when he signed, of course, the FY 2017 budget, and he recently also signed into law the Economic Development Bill, I think we all know, that adds additional critical funds for housing to support housing development and creation like MassWorks Money, Brownfields, HDIP, and other programs. So all of this adds up to a clear, consistent investment in housing from his capital plan to the commitment to both preservation and production to understanding the infrastructure that's needed for housing to succeed. Today, of course, the governor is here to award a combination of subsidy funds and tax credits that add up to another $270 million in funding for hundreds of rental units across the Commonwealth. We here as part of uh, this collaborative effort to announce $90 million in state and federal tax credits and subsidies to 26 projects which will generate over $230 million in private investment. These awards, as I think many of you know, will result in the creation and preservation of about 1,400 units of rental housing, over 90% of which will be affordable. Uh, specifically focus on serving low-income seniors and individuals with disabilities, ensuring that we're addressing a wide range of needs. needs and I'm pr proud that since taking office, we've provided funding to create nearly 900 new units of housing for these most vulnerable residents. The project hosting us today embodies those values and those priorities perfectly. St. Francis House in the Archdiocese will transform this historic structure, as was said before, into 46 units for formerly homeless individuals and will provide these residents with extensive social services. These affordable housing awards build on our administration's commitment to increasing housing production across all income ranges, and you see that in our decision to commit $1.1 billion, as was mentioned before, over the course of the next five years to housing production and credit preservation, along with another $100 million from our friends at Mass Housing Finance to develop over 1,000 units of workforce housing. Because this administration under Governor Baker knows that housing alone won't end homelessness. Housing offers stability and security. Services and supports offers sustainability. Together, its housing and supports provide hope for every individual and truly to create inclusive communities.